Alex Jones here on Saturday, reporting for InfoWars.com. The information we are about to present and report on has the highest importance level. This is a red level emergency transmission. Your future, my future, this country, but the rest of the world's future hangs in the balance. Now, what we're about to cover, I have warned you about over a decade ago and the last four years in two separate films. The reason I'm now pointing out that it's a red-level emergency is because they would not be announcing this if they weren't preparing the public for it. And we've confirmed through mainstream news, government documents, and leaks, as well as our police and military contacts, that the government, at state and federal level, are being told prepare for collapse in late October, early November. Repeat, that does not mean that it's going to happen then. I'm going to explain why. The globalists have engineered this, and they think we're stupid. They've bragged about it. That's how we knew about it. They will not carry this out if they think we are wise to them. They want to pose as the saviors, bankrupting things by design to bring us into a new system, a cashless system, Agenda 21. The reason I knew all this was because they're arrogant. They've written countless books and white papers. In the 70s, the Trilateral Commission, David Rockefeller is a big Brzezinski, and of course Jimmy Carter publicly wrote about this plan to create three global regions, sell derivatives, implode them, and then bring in the world government. And now they brag about it on the news. But the general public still has no idea. Now, this is out of the Chicago Tribune. It's Reuters. And it basically you know, gets into the fact that the big uh, major five banks in the U.S. and then one other globally, the six mega we're always talking about, are being told, prepare for collapse. Now, this really isn't new news. They've done the, the stress test and the rest of it. Uh, but in this article, they're saying prepare for this big collapse uh, and that there's not going to be, quote, government help. Of course, that's not really true. They want to say that so when the collapse begins, everybody begs to give the bankers even more power and control. Same thing's been done in Europe. And, of course, one of the architects of this, Larry Summers, who helped set all this up under Clinton in 98, 99, getting rid of Glass-Steagall and other things, he's been saying get ready for total collapse in Euro and here unless we give the bankers unlimited money. So they're getting all this geared up. Now let me dovetail this with uh, several reports up at Drudge. We began reporting on this, uh, the latest document, earlier in the week. Uh, yesterday this was up on the top of the site. It's now scrolled down a bit, and this is out of uh, the Washington Times, finally getting attention because Drudge is carrying it. And you notice here the Tea Party flag uh, is shot up. The Tea Party flag has been shot up, basically, and uh, the Pentagon says they owe it to the American people, and the Tea Party links up with Al-Qaeda. I know that doesn't make sense, but I told you years ago that's their plan. I could see the programming and internal Homeland Security documents I got and covered. They're going to claim that patriots that know about the New World Order are working with Al-Qaeda. And that's what the new Army report says, and it basically projects civil war by 2016. It'll come a lot quicker than that if they get away with it. So I've, I've always told you, the whole attack, claiming they've got to take your liberties for terrorists, it was to all be flipped onto conservatives, libertarians, gun owners, returning veterans. And now they're rolling it out public, meaning they're getting ready to go operational. I want to direct you to the Obama deception uh, that came out in March of 2009, three and a half years ago. This film is an hour and 53 minutes long. It's been seen over 40 million times total online. This version has about 11 million. I'm begging you to go watch it and write notes and ask yourself if all that didn't come true exactly as we said. Not because we're prophets. The globalists think you're stupid and say all this openly. Uh, also, uh, it came out four months after it because I needed to break this down, was Fall the Republic, explaining how they were going to implode uh, the world economy by design to bring in this system. You've got to watch these, and you've got to get them out to everyone you know. I mean, we lay it all out from their own battle plan statements. They've already imploded Europe to bring them into false uh, receivership and bankruptcy. Fall the Republic, 
Obama deception. Okay? I mean, these films cost me around $200,000 a piece to make. They're free. Okay? Why is that? Because there's no future if we don't turn this around. This lays out the banking cartel, how the 2008 bailout wasn't designed to fix things. It's really a direct tax to the bankers. Okay? So there it is. U.S. banks told to make plans for preventing collapse. Yeah, they're already engaging in a collapse and they brag about it at nauseum. This video is the most important, and we shot it last week, put it out this week. Full Spectrum Evil, Secrets of Global Domination explains how they use banking cartels to, to do this and then create crises and pose as the saviors. Now, this article is absolutely imperative to send to everyone you know. There are more than 15 examples in this article on TV and in major financial publications of the bankers bragging they've conquered us through fraud and that we now are under a world government run by international bankers. Meanwhile, the Southern Poverty Law Center and ADL say you're a racist cult leader if you talk about it. It's all right here. I am begging you to go watch the head of the EU bragging world governments here. All the links, all of it, okay? They can only get away with this. This is not a military takeover. This is a financial fraud takeover. But if you wake up and say no, then they send the military after you. So... Here's what I'm trying to get at for everybody. If we don't wake up to the new world order and speak out against it and expose the fact that it is engineering this collapse, the system is going to be able to basically get away with bloody murder. All right? And the final report, if you go over to the Drudge Report, you will notice they're linked to one of our latest articles dealing with another Army manual, separate from the one the Washington Times is reporting on. Army tactical manuals describe how to, to control domestic insurrection. Folks, I mean, this isn't a game, okay? This has been going on for a long time, but they're getting ready to go operational. All our sources say they are. And the article breaks down, Army manual describes how to control domestic insurrection. Okay, gun confiscation, re-education camps. The, when we broke this three months ago, the re-education camp deal, it, it, it was leaked to us. The Army responded and said, yeah, that's our document. You shouldn't have it. It's restricted. Okay? Re-education camps. And don't think they won't pull this. If they implode the economy, shut down the banks, the welfare checks aren't getting there. The 100 million people on welfare, a lot of them are going to burn the cities. Rome burned, will we? Got a big article coming out next week on that. This is all coming to a head right now. And everybody inside government, media, everybody's got to come together now and say, we know you engineered this six mega offshore banks. You brag you conquered us with this fraud. That's how much bravada and hubris you're full of. Chutzpah, whatever you want to call it. False aplomb. We know you did it. And we're going to make sure you all go to jail like Bernie Madoff and Ken Lay. This is not time to sit here like so many yuppies and go, well, Alex, don't scare people. You know, we need confidence to keep the economy going. No, 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 no. The globalists are imploding it by design. They only want confidence in them so they can walk us into slavery and to a deep, controlled, incremental depression with these threats like in October of 08 and October of 2012 if they pull the trigger on this to scare us into doing whatever they say. Okay? Now, don't say you weren't warned. Get the word out on this. We may be able to back them off. But it's not even my sources anymore. It's all over the news they're getting ready, basically, for civil emergency martial law. They got tanks rolling all over the country, TSA going on the streets, drones all over the place. I mean, this is a major banker takeover. This is like on the eve of World War II or something. But it's, it's globalist against all sovereign nations, families, individuals. So good job of the Drudge Report, DrudgeReport.com, for forcing this news out in the open. We need to make sure all the talk show hosts and everybody else go ahead and just admit we were right. Okay, you called us conspiracy theorists when we had the documents. Hey, eat crow, stand up against the globalists, do whatever it takes in radio and print everywhere else, or we're going to lose the whole country. Okay, these globalists want to extinguish liberty because they've committed so many crimes. They've got to fully take over and bring in an authoritarian fascist system with a bunch of socialists on the bottom who are feeding off the chicken feed, who were their army, to enforce it. 
You better wake up to this or there those or or we have no future, okay? All right, we were right. We reported the truth. We broke it down. I wish I wasn't right. But they're they're getting ready, ladies and gentlemen, for total controlled collapse. We have got to expose the perpetrators so they can't fully convert this. They know they've committed countless crimes. They know they're all going to prison if they don't fully take over and bring in tyranny. They either get arrested or we do. We either overthrow them and restore the rightful republic or we let them have their foreign globalist takeover and we basically get arrested. You understand the choice? You understand? You better choose a side right now. Police, military, everybody, okay? Get the word out. Don't sit around your house with a bunch of guns talking about some physical confrontation. We don't want it to go to that. The pen is mightier than the sword. Use it. I'll assure you, if you won't use the pen now, you won't use the sword later, okay? Now get out there and fight the globalist in the Info War. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com.